And folks, this daily update for Bad Bath & Beyond. And do you guys know that information is power? And if you have the information, it is very hard to beat you at anything, pretty much. And, and a lot of folks, if you understand, like, the, the, the only thing that will take away from you is the information. Anybody could gamble. You know, you can come to a stock market and start gambling and, you know, lose all your money, no problem. But once you have that information, then it's very hard to beat you, you know, at your own game. So the objective is to get you guys information, okay? And I'm making daily videos on Bed Bath & Beyond. And again, again, please take notes and understand that this is not just a squeeze, right, that you, you are after. You want to play it smart. Let's say if the squeeze does not happen the way you wanted it to be, at least you're still profitable, right? You're still making some money out of this. So let's talk about the catalyst. The stock is coming down steadily from last few days. Now, it's not just shorting that is going on here, right? There's also other factors involved in this. For the folks that don't know, Bed Bath & Beyond was about to go bankrupt. They had a default notice from JP Morgan Chase. They had to come up with the money in 30 days. Otherwise, they would have seized their asset or they would have gone for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. That would have been bad for the company altogether. With that being said, they offered some of the things to the investors to lure them in and give them the money. So they were able to raise about a billion dollar to pay off their debts and be and survive here, basically. Out of which, $225 million worth of preferred convertible stocks were given to the investors. What are these convertible preferred stocks? Basically, what you're telling them is, here's the convertible stock at this price, and you can actually sell it in the market as a common stock. You convert it into common stock and sell it. How it becomes profitable is like shorting, right? You, 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 actually are, you already purchase a preferred stock at a dollar, and let's say the stock price goes to 50 cents, you still, you could convert it and you'll get two shares pretty much at that point. So you're making that 50 cent profit right there. $225 million worth of convertible preferred stocks were given to the investors, which understandable, why is the stock is keep coming down, right? This is what's going on here. It's not just the shorting. It's also these guys converting and selling in the market. Short interest, however, is 50%. Now this short interest is for the folks that don't know, when the company is not doing good financially, they will go ahead and borrow the stock from a broker, sell it in the market because they know the price of the stock is going to go down. They will buy back the stock from the market at a lower price, pay back the broker, the share and take home the profit. And where it comes, the cost to borrow. Like, you know, when you go to the broker, hey, Mr. Broker, I need 8,000 shares. He's going to charge you a fee. He's not going to give you a share for free. So he's going to charge you a fee. And the higher the fee is, the more in demand the stock is because they know the company stock is going to go down further because that's what they're anticipating. So right now the stock fee, the broker fee is 334%. And if you notice here, just to give you a reference here, AMC, broker fee is a lot less. Institutions really thinking the stock of Bad Bath & Beyond, it's going to go down to penny level. This is what I want to talk to you guys about. So you got to understand from the levels, where are we and where we could go from here? And if you're investing in it, where do you want to cash that momentum? Look, there's a possibility the stock is shorted heavily right now. It's 50%. It's a lot higher than a normal stock. So you can actually catch a squeeze the way we cashed it the other day, which is, you know, a week ago, where the stock was trading around $2.96 and took off to $7. This could potentially happen because the short interest is really high. It is high. However, you got to understand from some levels that, okay, if it does go down from here, where is it landing? So if it goes down from here, potentially there's no support right here that could, it could bounce off of this support right here. If I show you right here, this is from, this is from January. See, this is from January right here. This is a zone in January that was trading at same zone right here. Okay. So what we're waiting for is tomorrow. If the stock bounces off of this, then we know it's heading back to two dollars and you know sixty six cents, sixty seven cents, ninety cents possibly. And if it catch a good momentum, it could potentially go to three dollars and fifty five cents. If it drops, however, I mean at that point you already know there's no support there. So I mean at that point it could potentially get to one dollars and twenty seven cents or one dollar fifty cents. So you got to be careful with this with this whole investment. Or I mean it's not even an investment; it's a trade at this point, right? You're not holding on to anything. I'm not holding anything longer than maybe an hour or, or 30 minutes. You know, I'm going in and coming out. I'm have my stop losses set up accordingly. And I'm waiting for that squeeze to be really honest with you. But you got to understand this information is very critical, very important. It's cost to bar is really high, which means they are potentially thinking the stock is going to come further down. But we are feeding off of that short squeeze. What I want is for some manipulations to come in 
and be able to pump up the price so these guys that bar the stock to you know short the short the stock hoping the price to go down if the price goes up they will start losing money so they would have to cover their shorts and when they cover the shorts that pushes the price even higher and this is what i'm feeding off of right a uh, potentially i could short the stock as well but i'm waiting for that big squeeze so with that being said this is this is critical information so this explains why the stock was coming down so tomorrow i'll be very critical to see what's happening here i'm, I'm thinking the stock will buy, bounce off of this and go, go to two dollars and 96 cents but let's see what happens tomorrow because it could potentially go down to one dollars 92 cents one dollar 50 cents and then bounce back up so again these are the levels have a look at it um, and, you know, I'm making daily videos on this. I'm not going to stop until I know exactly where we land with this stock. So hope you guys like this video. If you're not subscribed, do consider subscribing because, you know, at the end of the day, information is power, as I said. And if you have the information, nobody can beat you at your own game. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video.